All right. There's a lot of e-bikers. I never thought I would have one, but if you're planning on getting a Suron, Talaria, Segway, and now a Throne, they're pretty much all the same. Just look at the look at the frame. They're all built around the same way. So I'm guessing this one's a little faster than normal. That's like 60. I think it's got 10,000 watts. Got the four piston rear caliper. It actually uses DOT brake fluid, not like mineral oil like a mountain bike would. So I never really liked these because it was just like an overbuilt mountain bike to me. So if you really want to push it, you're going to break it. So we're going to figure out the weaknesses and, and build it, but I'm getting pretty excited because it's, it's pretty much street legal. Uh, there's a couple things I'm going to run through that I would just kind of check over when you get one, but it's, it's literally for the money. If you're not going to go over 45, this is a sick bike. And I guess there's a 30% larger battery. I'm waiting for double the power and then I'll swap it. But uh, yeah, I mean, at that point, you might as well just get a Stark. So I would just do the bare minimum. Like I'm gonna put a surfboard rack on it, street legalize it. I already got the harness, but I'm not really a fan of the harness. So we're gonna modify it. Um, okay, so the chain was like stupid tight. I don't know if that was just from, yeah, see how tight it is? That's, that's not good with like suspension travel. I don't know, maybe it's just whoever put it together. They are a BMX company. And then you got your rebound here. You got your compression up there. Then you get your sag, just like a dirt bike. And it actually works. I mean, the preload, rebound, does it have? Looks like it's got air. Okay, so that's your spring. You can adjust it, that's pretty cool. All right, so we're definitely gonna get some bigger pegs. I don't know how people ride with these things. We get ones like about that big. We'll sell those. We got a sick tail light. It's one of the sickest tail lights there. It's the same way on the Stark Varg. Uh, carbon fiber bars, titanium, wherever we can, because I'm, I'm gonna use this as a surf mobile, so I don't want no rust. I want to be able to get off my bolts if I need to. Uh, oh, going to go crazy on lights because the lights, I mean, yeah, you can not get hit, but we're going to go gnarly on lights. I want to see how fast I can drain this battery because I want to max out the lights and just like make it like a, you know, when you wheelie, there's, I want there to be light everywhere. So let's see what else plan on doing oh i disconnected these as the bike shop said because if you try to wheelie it'll cut the power but then your brake light doesn't work so we'll have to figure that out maybe we'll do a pressure sensor style and then plug these back in or figure it out these things are pretty bright i would like to switch these out for some like built-in leds that work with like music so i'm working on those Made a little video on that earlier. Uh, yeah, but definitely give yourself some, some slack though. Just so you're not blowing out the crank bearing. Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad for the for the money. Um, I'm gonna work with uh, Throne hopefully and make a street eagle kit so it's easy for you guys. Cause uh, these things gotta be street legal. I mean, my buddy's like 15 years old. He 954 scrappy. He already went to jail. 15 years old from wheeling these things so got to be respectful and safe because these cops are not happy when you're buzzing by at 50. But yeah this thing's super fast from like 0 to 20 and then it feels like a normal bike normal you know just it's pretty slow so we'll figure it out get some more speed out of it it could be limited somehow but uh yeah i'm, I'm pretty impressed i just like that it's street legal doesn't make any noise you could practice wheelies at 3 a.m. But uh, yeah, we'll start doing some builds and showing you how we'll put all this stuff together.